Hello and welcome back to yet another GCSE revision video. Now, lots and lots of you continue to request more ambitious words, okay? You're all super keen on expanding your vocabulary and the, using these ambitious words, not only for your creative writing, but even when you're analyzing, for example, unseen fiction extracts in language paper one, and even the non-fiction extracts in language paper two and paper three, and of course, even some of these ambitious words can be used in your non-fiction writing for paper two, question number five. So given that you guys requested more ambitious words, I'm back with yet 10 more ambitious words that you can memorize, commit to your vocabulary, and most importantly, also start incorporating it into your writing. So what I'm gonna do is go over every single word, its meaning, as well as an example, and how you can apply it in your own writing, okay? So let's start off, number one, cantankerous. This is a really, really great ambitious word, especially you can use it as an adjective, and it simply means bad-tempered. So for example, you can describe the cantankerous teacher who shouted, okay? That's ambitious word number one. Number two is iridescent. And this is a really beautiful way of describing something which has lots of bright colors that kind of shimmer and shift, okay? So iridescent simply means bright colors that change with movement. And a good example of how you can use this ambitious word is the iridescent ocean glimmered, okay? So it's glimmering and coruscating and, you know, shimmering under the sun, okay? And obviously you could say, for instance, the ocean has all these different gradients of color. So you could talk about how the iridescent colors kind of came out under the sun's gaze. Number three, enthralling, which means simply interesting or captivating. For example, we were enthralled by the politician's speech. Uh, ambitious word number four is beguiling, which means charming, when somebody is really charming. And you could state her, begu or you could describe even her beguiling, alluring smile. Alluring also means somewhat seductive, okay? Uh, ambitious word number five is coaxing, or when someone is coaxed and this simply means gently persuading so that person can be gently persuaded and pushed into making a decision that they might have otherwise not have made okay and a great example is after a lot of coaxing my father reluctantly agreed to let me go to that house party for example right the next ambitious word number six is giddy which means being excited to the point of confusion so you're so excited that you know you can't even think straight right that means you're giddy for example you can state that josh felt giddy with relief maybe he was being chased and then he managed to escape the person that was chasing them and literally that rush of emotions made them giddy with relief now, uh, ambitious word number seven is vertiginous, okay? This is related and it's an offshoot from vertigo, okay? And vertiginous means very high or steep. And for example, you can describe the mountain's vertiginous slopes, okay? Uh, ambitious word number eight is facetious, okay? And facetious simply means talking of somebody or something serious in a light or or funny way, okay? So when you're speaking facetiously or when somebody is speaking facetiously, they're taking a really, you know, serious subject matter, but they kind of treat it in a light, humorous way, which isn't always very appropriate, okay? And it can put people off. So for example, you can talk about his facetious mark that really put you off, okay? Then ambitious word number nine is fawning, okay? And fawning simply means when someone is too obedient or excessively attentive, okay? When someone is basically, in other words, kind of sucking up, right? And for example, fans who love musicians, for instance, right? You could talk about the fans as fawning ad ad adoration when they see the musician, you know, they're really, really over the top, kind of like uh, excessively obedient and so on, right? But also you could talk about, you know, maybe someone who's treating somebody else in a fawning way and it can be a bit too obedient, too attentive, and then it raises someone's suspicion. An ambitious word number 10 is Sisyphean. And this means something that's a, a task or an activity that's endlessly difficult, okay? So Sisyphean task is just an endlessly difficult task or anything Sisyphean is just simply endlessly difficult. So for instance, you could talk about how poor Sandra spent hours on the Sisyphean task but never got round to completing her massive piles of homework, for example, okay? So that's really it when it comes to 10 more ambitious words and vocabulary, right? So cantankerous, iridescent, enthralling, beguiling, coaxing, giddy, vertiginous, facetious, fawning and Sisyphean. And that's really it guys. Thank you so much for watching.